right, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Simon and Apollo Anton Ono. That is Charles Hamlin of Canada. I'm Nick Gizmondi. Joining me alongside Andy Gable. Universal Sports is coverage of the Samsung ISU World Cup short track. This is the men's 5,000 meter relay A final featuring Korea, the United States, Canada, and Russia. Should be an incredible 5,000 meter here. Obviously, the team from Russia, this is the first final they have ever been in at a World Cup competition. They're going to have their, their work cut out for them, but did a great job to make it to this, to this spot. There you see the team from the United States, very strong. Korea, very strong. Canada, very strong teams. It's going to be between these three countries, and it's really going to come down to who makes the smart exchanges, good exchanges, who got the best depth on the team. But I'll tell you this right now, if Apollo Antonono has them in their sights with two laps to go, he's the best in the world at chasing people down in the relay. All right, so representing these teams, let's get you introduced to them as they do so here, and we will take it through the start. Korea, skating for them will be Kwok, Lee Ho-suk, Lee jong Su and Sung Sibak, representing the United Great. States. It is Travis Jainer, Anthony Labello, Apollo Anton Ono, and Jeff Simon. Our first look at him today after a great finish for him yesterday, his first World Cup podium. For the Canadians, it'll be Remy Balutinker, Charles Hamlin, Jean Olivier, and uh, Francois-Louis Tremblay. What we're seeing right now, Nick, is the Korean team going out hard from the beginning. I think they want to try to set a world record. This is going to be the fastest facility that these athletes will skate in all season long. This will be the only chance to get that world record. It looks like they're going for it right now. Let's keep the prize that the world record is 639 by the team from Canada. And the team from Korea is putting down a hard pace right now. These skaters are going to be awfully tired at the end of this one. United States in second, Canada in third, Russia. Sitting back in the fourth spot representing Russia is a Semenon Elisturarov, Evgeny Kuzulin, Vashislav Kurganyan, and Sergei Trenkovic. And the team from Russia looking very strong and very solid. They are absolutely out in front, skating well. You're going to see some great exchanges as they move here. Team from the United States, the team from Canada sitting strong as well. Apollo Ono on the track right now in the crowd, giving him a big round of applause. He is in second right now, trying to chase down the Korean team who is on a blistering pace. Here's the exchange, Canada in third. Russia far off the pace in fourth right now. They have to make up some serious ground. Korea still way out in front. The United States team in second. Big push right here in a huge exchange for Canada. That moves them into second. The United States falls back. They are in third right now. That was a great exchange for Team Canada. Andy. Fantastic exchange by Canada. Doing a nice job. Korea still keeping up a nice strong finish here. We've got 32 laps, 33 laps to go. The team from the United States is in back a little bit. They're going to have to do some chasing up, catching up to get to these guys up in front of them. Korea looking so very strong, so very solid. As is the team for Canada. Here comes Apollo and Tynono try to chase these guys down. If anybody in the world can do it, it's Apollo Ono. Well, he's got his work cut out for him. He's got some serious ground to make up in exchange here. Still lots of time left. 29 laps to go, Andy. Korea is in front right now, followed directly behind by the Canadians. Americans sitting in third, and the Russians back in that fourth spot right now. Canada doing a good job to stay right on the heels of Korea. Well, Korea backed off a little bit on that one exchange. Now they're picking it back up again, so we're going to see what's happening, giving the Americans a chance to come back in. Anthony LaBella from the United States trying to close the gap here. We'll see if he's able to do that. Now the team from Korea starting to pull away from Francois Louis Tremblay from Canada. Here comes Charles Hamlin. Here comes Apollo Ono. These three skaters will finish this race in about 25 laps. Ono trying to catch up to the pace of Charles Hamlin right now. Apollo Ono making up a little bit of ground. He will make another exchange, though. That's a big push for Apollo Anton Ono. Ono doing a great job. Here's Travis Jader from the United States trying to continue to close that gap. And Korea and Canada slowing down a little bit, allowing the United States to get back in this race. Oh, they're starting to tire out, and they do. A big push here. The Americans are in it, and this crowd knows it. On right now, that is number 223. That is Jeff Simon. We've seen some great skating from him this weekend. Simon now trying to catch up. Another big push right here. It is very close. Canada in the one spot. Korea in the two. USA in the third. Korea takes back into the lead. Now Canada, USA in third. And 
what a move by Korea to get in front. They know the American team is close. They're going to want to create some separation. Here comes Ono. He's got Hamlin in sight. I look for Ono to make a pass here as soon as he can. Maybe as it comes out of this exchange, we'll see what happens here. 18 laps left to go. Ono with the exchange. Oh, and a bit of a misstep right there. The Americans struggle with that one. A tough exchange. They are back in third. They lost some ground. you got to be careful with that exchange. Jader got him, didn't get his skates down. He got his skates tangled with the team from Canada. And that cost him about 15 meters. Here comes Canada up on the inside. We have got a race here, ladies and gentlemen. 16 laps to go. Remy Bailu Tinker out in front for Canada right now. The Koreans now in second. Americans back in third. Simon will make the exchange here. He pushes off to his teammate. That is Anthony Labello. Francois Louis Tremblay from Canada skating in front, doing a nice pace here. They're going to come around. There's going to be 13 laps to go. Here comes Apollo. Anton Ono once again closing the gap, showing why he's one of the best relay skaters in the history of this sport. Here comes Korea. Ono has closed the gap. It's back to one, two, three now. Very close. Canada out in front. They jump on Korea, but the Americans right back in that third spot. What an exciting 5,000 meter A final relay we have here for you on Universal Sports. Another exchange, Canada one, Korea two, the United States in three. Russia is all but out of this one right now. Back in that fourth spot, it is a battle between Canada, Korea, and the U.S. Canada's doing a great job of creating some separation with each other teams. When you're able to do that, you're able to make your exchange a little bit easier and a little bit cleaner. And here comes Korea, absolutely on fire. What a pass by the team from Korea. Here comes Ono, here comes Hamlin. This is going to be the second. We're going to see these guys one more time at the end of this race. Apollo Ono doing everything he can to close the gap. Six laps left to go here for this relay. Korea now out in front. Canada in second. The United States now still back in third. This crowd is going wild. They're starting to get up on their feet, and they will in this final lap here very shortly. Four are, laps left to go. We are very close to world record pace. We're going to have to see what happens here. Jeff Simon from the United States trying to close this gap as well. All the American team has to do is get Apollo Ono close. And with two to go, he should be able to catch these skaters. He's the best relay skater finish in history. You heard the gun, so there is one exchange left. Apollo is on pace. Look for him to jump in the mix. Here's the push. And Ono is in the mix. Apollo Ono now in that third spot trying to make a pass on Canada. Ono coming up hard on the inside. Will he get ahead? Apollo Ono, yeah, he's ahead of Canada. All he has to do is catch the Korean into the final turn. It'll be close. Ono won't do it, but he will get into second place for the Americans and a good finish for Apollo Ono. And that might have been a world record by the team from Korea. We're going to have to wait to see the final time. What a fantastic relay. What a fantastic finish. One of the best relays we have seen in a long time. And it's official. That's a new world record by the team from Korea. It is the third world record that we have seen this weekend. Two for China, one for Korea. And wow, what an event. This is why it is the fastest ice in the world. And what a finish for Apollo Anton Ono. Number 222. Don't misunderstand what he did to get the Americans into second in this race. Hats off to the Koreans for their world record. That is a incredible skating by them. The Canadians were impressive in this one, but wow, Apollo Anton Ono and some great exchanges by his teammates as well. Absolutely, they did a wonderful job to stay close. That was just an absolutely fantastic relay all the way around. And here you see the ex missed exchange by the United States. You see Travis Jader getting his skates caught up in the team from Canada. Just like that, cost you about 10, 15 meters. But the team from the United States came back strong to get that place back. And here is the pass by Korea on Canada, Andy. And here he comes, coming in on the inside, hooks it beautifully, Swent Francois Louis Tremblay from Canada, letting it come up on the inside. Smart move by both of them. And from this point on, it's all Korea as they pull away. And then, of course, the finish here. And a close one and a great move by Ono. Well, what happened in a half lap before that, the team from Russia got in the way of the team from Canada. Ono seeing that happening, gets on the inside, gets into second place right behind the team from Korea. What a phenomenal relay event to finish this exciting World Cup event from Salt Lake City.